Hello and welcome to Secrets of Organ Playing podcast. We are your hosts, Vidas Pinkavichus. And Ushamut Zide Pinkavichin. We've been mastering secrets of organ playing for more than 20 years and sharing them on this blog since 2011. On this show, which we create from our home in Vilnius, Lithuania, we strive to help you grow in every area of organ playing, including practice, technique, repertoire, sight reading, hymn playing, improvisation, composition, music theory, harmony, and many others. Our hope is to help you become a complete musician, or what we call as total organist, a program which we have created to help you reach your dreams faster than you would do on your own. If you are new here, we invite you to subscribe to receive free updates of this blog at organduo.lt. By subscribing, you will also receive free video on how to master any organ composition and 10-day organ playing mini chords. And now let's go to the podcast for today. Hi guys, this is Vidas. And Usha. Let's start episode 453 of Secrets of Organ Playing podcast. Uh, this question was sent by Abraham. And he writes, good to hear from you, Mr. Vidas. Is it possible to follow these steps and master any organ composition a week before performance? Um, I just have to clarify this question, probably. Uh, Abraham wrote an answer uh, to my email when I sent him uh, the video of how to master an organ composition. Uh, after the first day when sort of subscribers come to our community, they get this uh, video and start learning uh, this 10-day mini course on uh, learning to play any organ composition. So he, he probably watched this video, I suspect, and uh, he has this question. Is it possible to follow these steps that I talked probably in this video and master any organ composition a week before performance? Do you think, Osha, he means that his performance might be a week from now and he has just started playing the piece or learning the piece now? Well, I'm not quite sure what about you. What it's, do you think? it's not clear to me, but if it is, then obviously it depends on the skill of your ability. And it depends on the piece too. Yes, how difficult it is. How... how advanced are you in organ playing how good are you in sight reading those things and improvisation probably too i suspect and harmony it all comes together in the final performance so in most cases i would say no right probably yes in most cases it's too little time it's too risky Yes. Remember, uh, we always advise people to... To be ready, you know, in a month ahead of time. Now I'm saying two months ahead, just to, to keep people from stress, you know. But anyway, I think you still get some stress during actual performance. Even if you will be ready, I don't know, three months ahead. But if you will do everything that's possible, you know, and that's in your power, then at least you won't be, you know, won't feel guilty if something will went wrong. Mm -hmm. And if your performance is uh, a week from today and you're just starting, then it's probably something wrong with the planning process of the preparation. I mean, you have to prepare well in advance and plan it well in advance. Yes, I remember our classmate at the Academy of Music, he took the large piece of Max Reger. I don't remember now exactly which one it was. But sonata, I think. I think it was one of the two yes, sonatas. Yes, one of the two sonatas. And I think he counted pages and it was, what, like 30 pages 30 long? 30 pages, yeah. And he, oh, I have a month before, you know, a performance, so I just have to learn one page per day and I'll be ready. <laughs> Guess what? He never learned that piece and never performed it. 
he learned maybe five pages or so. I know, or so. I know, and he saw that it's a hopeless business. And now he's no longer playing organ, by the True, way. True, but he is building, mm-hmm. and so that's good too. Um, so you know, I would say, I would say that. Um, Imagine if somebody asks you to play a week from today something, then you have to play pieces that you already know well in advance. Maybe you can repeat uh, from your last performance, right, Osha? True. Uh, a week from today, it's possible to refresh something that you learned, let's say, a month ago or two months ago. I think it is possible yes. if if you learn it. Uh, in a systematic way but what happens if somebody asks you to perform a week from today and you don't have anything ready well then you have either to improvise or no to (laughs) to say no yes to say no yeah improvising sometimes it's easier than playing from the score but not Not for every yeah not for, for every person if you have never done it before, then just say no. Yes. Uh, just um, next time, gather your repertoire ahead of time and and you will be more secure, I think, when the I time think comes. it's important, you know, for organists to keep sort of like emergency repertoire and what has to be on, on your list. Some, some, let's say, music that fits uh, wedding, some music that fits funeral, probably some music that fits, you know, service. And probably like, what, 10 to 15 of the most common hymns? Good idea, Osha. This is uh, what they would require for service playing certificate at AGO. And um, this is, uh, I think, uh, well thought of uh, situation and and the most common things that organs have to play. Sure, and then you know what you have to do to refresh these pieces, you know, to keep them alive, let's see. Mm-hmm. Once in a while. Yes. Maybe... This 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 much of repertoire and hymns would uh, uh, probably take uh, half an hour to play, I would say, once. But if you do this just like once a month, after learning them thoroughly and mastering, uh, I think you would be prepared to, to, to play on a short notice. That's right. Okay, guys. Thank you for your wonderful questions. We love helping you grow. This was with us. And Osha. And remember, when you practice, miracles happen. This blog is supported by Total Organist, the most comprehensive organ training program online, where you will find courses for every area of organ playing, including technique, practice, sight reading, repertoire playing, hymn playing, improvisation, composition, music theory, and harmony, with hundreds of scores and thousands of exercises. Here is what some of the students are saying. Hugh writes, The sight reading course has helped me tremendously. Thank you very much for your SS courses and all your help. Robert writes, I found the fingerings, registration ideas and general comments to be excellent. John writes, I have found your download very helpful. It was really excellent. I have watched some of your teaching videos and when I read your instructions. I try to imagine you are there teaching me. You may feel disappointed that I am two three days behind, but I am a slow learner and I have committed to taking the time to get it right as you say. But the other night my wife commented that she had never heard me play such a detailed melody in the left hand so well. My left hand is generally poor. Robert writes It has been a great pleasure in my life of having discovered your courses and material as well as the YouTube work of recordings. You have a calm and pleasant way of teaching. Ron writes, Hi Vida Santosha, thank you guys. 
What a wonderful response to my email note to you. You've got me right, and I feel you understand my level of playing. Yes, at home and lucky that I have an organ for that reason. I am paying attention to this, and I am going to try this haha no longer secret model. Yes, and I love Caesar Frank too. What is very nice about your blog podcast is that Osha and Vidas are like a Socratic dialogue, and by bouncing things off of each other, so much more information comes out and is expressed. Your comments contain a wealth of information and understanding. I really appreciate this. It is very inspiring and will keep us moving forward. Would you like to receive the same or even better results that our students are getting? If so, join them at organduo.lt slash total dash organist. And of course, you will get the first month free too. You can cancel anytime. Also, if you haven't yet subscribed to receive free updates of this blog, make sure you do that at organduo.lt. By subscribing, you will also receive free video, how to master any organ composition and 10-day organ playing mini course. This was Vidas and Osha from Secrets of Organ Playing. And remember, when you practice, miracles happen.